the Oyster Gardening Project is led by Restore Our Shores, a conservation program of Brevard Zoo. Oyster gardening allows Brevard County community members to grow baby oysters or spat off their docks in habitats until they are large enough to be used for seeding oyster projects in the Indian River Lagoon. The Oyster Gardening Project also offers volunteers the opportunity to be oyster buddies if they would like to care for oysters but do not live on the water. After you have completed an oyster gardening training workshop, you are all set to be an oyster gardener or oyster buddy. Restore Our Shores staff will contact you via email once spat distribution has been scheduled. Once you come to pick up your spat, make sure you have a large bucket or cooler to hold your oysters while you transport them to your house to keep your car clean and dry. When you receive your oyster spat, they will have to go immediately to your dock and in the water. You will place half of the bag in one of your habitats and the other half in the other to give them plenty of room to grow. Once your oysters are split between the two habitats, you can drop your habitats into the water while holding onto the rope. Make sure that your habitat is at least one foot above the lagoon floor to avoid sedimentation and predators, and one foot below the water line to avoid drying out when the water is low. There are several different ways you can tie a rope to the dock. Between two pilings, off of one plank, between two planks, or from a boat cleat. If you plan to tie your habitat between two pilings, ask for a second 10 foot rope. It may be difficult to see your oysters at this stage as the spat are only a few weeks old. This video shows five months of spat growth. With proper care, your oysters can grow quickly in just a few short weeks. At least once a week, you will need to check on your oysters and care for them. First, pull your habitats out of the water. Give them a good shake to make sure they are not growing together or onto the habitat. Place your habitats on the dock and rinse them with a the garden hose. Oysters like a freshwater rinse, and a little pressure can also help remove algae, silt, and other fouling organisms. Don't break out the pressure washer though. Your oysters will be most fragile in the first couple weeks, so handle them gently during this time. Set a timer for between six and nine hours and leave your habitats in a sunny spot to dry out. Don't worry, your oysters will be okay out of the water. Oysters can survive over 12 hours out of the water, and this drying period mimics a natural tidal cycle and can help kill oyster competitors like barnacles, algae, and mussels. When your timer goes off, it is time to finish your oyster care routine. Use your scraper to scrape the fouling off the outsides of the habitat. Be careful to not scrape the black coating off of the habitats and always be sure to wear your gloves. Barnacles and tube worms may be difficult to fully clean off of the habitats, but maintenance is important to ensuring that there is good water flow for the oysters through the habitat mesh. Be sure to stay consistent with your maintenance from the very beginning since it can be difficult to care for oysters once they have become overfouled. Once the habitats have been cleaned off, you may return them to the water. Make sure that the ropes are securely tied and the habitats are still a good depth in the water column. Keep in mind, oyster needs vary depending on your location and time of year. Open lagoon and high salinity areas usually experience more barnacle growth, while gardeners living on canals and in areas with more fresh water usually find a lot of mussels or tube worms on their oysters. Fouling also increases in the summer months, as many species reproduce when the water warms. Fouling species descriptions can be found in your oyster gardening manual. If you are noticing a great deal of fouling, you might try leaving your oysters out for a longer amount of time or more than once a week. And if you have any questions or concerns about what is happening with your oysters, do not hesitate to reach out to Restore Our Shores with pictures of your oysters and any fouling you are concerned about. Once during the gardening season, Restore Our Shores staff will schedule a site visit with you via email. You do not need to be at home, but we will need to have access to your dock. Staff will open up your habitats record the number of live oysters, and note any other species making their home in the habitat. Don't worry if we missed you. We will leave you a card letting you know how your oysters are doing and any recommendations on how you might better care for your oysters. 
the oyster gardening season typically starts in the fall and lasts six to nine months. Restore Shore staff will contact you when it is time to return your oysters in the summer. Your oysters will be used to seed permanent oyster restoration projects on the lagoon bottom. These projects help to increase oyster populations in Brevard County, provide habitat for local wildlife, and improve water quality by filtering algae and removing nutrients. Visit the Restore Our Shores website to learn more about opportunities to help build oyster projects.